Today I'm making a short video about outputting to HDMI using the mini a mini DVI mini HDMI adapter. So it goes from mini HDMI to regular size HDMI. And uh, this is for an Anbernic handheld. This is an RG353 VS. So you just plug it into here and then you plug it into here. So to actually use this thing, you need to either first turn it off or you have to press the reset button because it has to go through the boot process to detect the HDMI out. And so I'm gonna turn it on right now. It's turning on. Uh, it disables the screen that's on here and will output to the TV screen. So unfortunately, you won't be able to see what's going on here with your handheld because it disables the screen, but it loads the TV. So it only goes one way. I don't know how to, I tried going to settings to see if I could adjust it. Uh, I was unable to figure out that. I went into the uh, video output settings and it didn't work for me. Uh, so someone who's an expert can figure that out. It would be nice if I could use the USB-C hookup to do HDMI output, but it's not supported. So you'll see over here, I'm going through this stuff using the thing and it's outputting. Uh, I did have a problem using a different TV. It wouldn't output correctly. So anyways, the, if I actually disconnect this, the TV goes black. So, um, I disconnected it. Now the, the screen is blank as well as the TV is blank. So again, uh, to get everything working back onto the internal screen, I have to either turn it off or press reset and I'll reset. So again, if you want the output to work either internally or through the HDMI, you have to reset it always. It, there's no setting that I'm aware of someone can correct me so I'll show you now that I'm in here the problem so it just booted up and you'll see the TV is no video signal when I try to plug in the adapter HDMI mini HDMI adapter in it doesn't it stays like this and then it's like this so again you could try to go into settings for your Anbernic and see if there's a way to change it. I'll show you what I tried. I went into and pressed the, this button over here, the start button. Scrolled down to system settings and pressed uh, the A button. Scrolled down to video output and there's no way to switch it. It's already set to auto. So that's what I did at least. And there's going to be someone who said like, dude, you didn't even try. I did try. And well, if you want it to output to the screen, you can either turn this off, turn it back on, or you can press the reset. Reset's probably the easiest solution. And again, it can only output to one screen, either the internal screen when it's not hooked up to anything or to the TV. Hopefully that answers some questions. Well, I'm not an expert. You know, an expert can uh, try to clue me in. I did Google this. I did search the internet to try to find a solution as well as try to do it myself. So uh, if someone knows a better solution, please do tell me. Uh, I didn't consult any of the YouTube videos that are out. I was just excited to get the adapter over here. So this adapter over here is, lets me output to the TV now.